So what I have here is a uh, light bar, a 22 inch light bar. It's 120 watts um, and I ordered it from Amazon. The brand is called Nylite. So this is a box that comes in. It's kind of not branded except for this uh, little sticker that's here. Which I'll show you. So as, uh, as you guys can see, it came with a uh, two year warranty, product warranty. Uh, and it does come with a uh, unique code for your uh, warranty claim process. I don't know how good this is gonna be if anything happens to it. So we'll go ahead and unbox it. I'm going to take it out now. And here it is. A little bit about the casing. All right, so we'll take this out here, take this guy off here, and then this guy we're gonna kinda just Take it off carefully. And uh, first things first, uh, the fit and finish. So um, it looks pretty good. They do have the Nylite branding there on the side. Um, the inside looks looks really uh, looks really good. I mean, the quality looks good, um, but I do see some imperfections. So if you look here, it looks like there are a couple. Of ding. I don't know if the camera can really get it, but there is one thing there. Um, and other than that, it looks pretty good. There's a couple slight scratches here. Again, I don't think the camera can get it, but um, for a $26 light, it'd be nice to see how this holds up in tough weather. Um, now, it does say it's a IP67 rating waterproof. So hopefully that holds true. If not, we will be using this warranty. Um, and it only comes with the red and black wire. So you kind of have to do the, uh, the wiring yourself. Um, but it, again, it's not that difficult. Uh, so there is the light bar. We'll put, as you can see, that is everything that it comes with. Unbox that. As you can see, it's nice and wrapped. And here is the wire harness bagged up. Like I told you guys, it comes with a little toggle switch that actually says LED light bar. So I kind of I kind of like that. That's the reason why I went with this wiring harness. Um, this one, I forget what it was. I think it was like 18 bucks. Um, but check the link that I put on Amazon. So again, here's the uh, wiring harness. It's kind of typical, just like the rest of the wiring harnesses you've seen on the Jeep Wranglers. Um, you've got your relay here where we're going to mount. You've got your fuse, right? And then you've got your red and your black wire. Um, and so this piece right here, this is the piece that would go inside the Jeep and you would run it through the firewall and then this, would, this switch would get mounted somewhere inside the Jeep. So you've got your, uh, your wiring harness here. So that connects that. And goes out to this guy and then these two go to your battery and then this goes to the light um, but we'll hook it all up and see how it works um, but yeah so we have your wiring harness kit we've got the 22 inch light bar so next step is for us to install it and uh, excited to show you guys how it works
moved the negative cable to the negative terminal on the battery, and we put the positive cable on the positive terminal on the battery. Then we mounted the relay using a screw that did not come with the kit. I actually got this myself, and that's a good spot for it. And then we ran the cables across the engine bay underneath the engine cover, which I had to remove. Um, you'll see it's all zip tied, nice, looks professional. And then it goes straight in through the firewall into the cabin. Uh, you kind of have to poke through there with something uh, like a wire hanger of some sort. And then the cable for the light goes right behind the hood. There's plenty of space for it. And then you'll see why I put the rocker switch right underneath the dash. And uh, yeah, everything works fine. So just want to demonstrate quickly how the whole thing works. So again, opening the door, you see the rocker switch on the bottom. Once you flip it, you'll see the light bar uh, icon light up, which it is now. And then the light bar should be on and no issues. This is just a light bar. So as you can see, I can actually drive with just this um, on and I can see everything clearly. Obviously this is for off-road use because it's very, very blinding. 